Hey everyone, Paso here, and welcome back to another video. I've got some big news. Uh, Keen has released on our Space Engineers YouTube channel this morning that the pre-order for PlayStation is now available. So that means you can now pre-order Space Engineers on PlayStation stores. So that's great. I've got some little information here which I'll just read out. So obviously, yeah, one, the pre-order is now available. If you can pre-order the game, you can gain access to the first wave of beta, which will be occurring in May 2023. So that should be interesting. Should be... I will see if it's buggy, I don't know. Who, 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 who would know? I probably won't be getting it on PlayStation myself. I do have a PlayStation 4, but it's kind of old and doesn't really like to be uh, poked with a stick. So we sort of just let it a, let a rest for the time being. But um, it's coming to both PlayStation 4 and 5, which I think is excellent because I'm sure there are many of you who have PlayStation 4s and you've probably been waiting for Space Engineers to come out. And it seems a lot of games right now are sort of only coming out on... Okay, sorry about that. My dog went schizo at something. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, uh, it seems a lot of games nowadays have sort of just been directly coming out to PlayStation 5 and the PlayStation 4 people are sort of being left behind. Although I do believe PlayStation 5s are a little bit more accessible at the moment. That's, that's sort of not much of an issue anymore. But yeah, that's besides the point. I mean, more, ac to, more access to more people. So I think that's great. Um, I'm interested to see how it'll run on the PlayStation 4 versus PlayStation 5. I imagine PlayStation 5 will probably be on par with PC. I would imagine PlayStation 4 would maybe, but there might just be some sort of like graphical limitations there, we'll just have to see. One thing to note as well, the footage in the background here, this is just the trailer, I'll just have on a little cycle, that is actually captured on PC, so we don't actually know what the game looks like, I at least I couldn't see from, from my little bit of research. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all for that little news there, so if you are wanting to play Space Engineers on PlayStation, Now's the time to pre-order so you can get that early access. And yes, yeah, so that's pretty much all for that. But the next thing I did want to talk about was the little sneak peek at the Automaton update, which they've just showed at the end of the trailer here. I'll probably keep that one out for the start of the video, just so it's not confusing. But uh, you should be able to see it now. So it's got a little sort of look at uh, some of the blocks that are coming. So I'll just see if I can look at them myself. It looks like we've got some like sort of piping blocks at the top there um, so I guess that'll add a bit more detail that's pretty cool we've got some little air vents there so I imagine those will just be more sort of decorative looking air vents as opposed to the ones that we have now so hey more 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 player customization that's great there is another thing in the top right there which I can't quite see I'll see if I can just scroll back in my little video that I've got up here I've just got the Video. Okay, it looks like we've got the automaton timer block. Okay, that's the one there with the little rectangular white light on there. I can't really tell what the block on the top right is there. But it looks like we've also got a new helmet skin, and that's the robot helmet skin. So it looks like it's like red on one side, blue on the other. It'll be interesting to see how that colors, if that affects the visor or not. So that's pretty cool. I'm interested to see what if that might have any other uses weird that they would just only have the helmet so we'll see we've got the automaton sensor so I imagine that will be like how it can detect if it's about to crash into something or if uh, maybe you can have something like an automated door uh, it could just be like a, a sensor block maybe but it just looks a bit fancier who's to say we've got some access panels which I imagine are just going to be uh, sort of like cosmetic variants of the access panel we have now, like the little blue one. These ones look a bit more sort of technical, so I do like that. A bit more mechanical, as you can see. And they, I guess they blend in a little bit more. And I suppose as well they add a bit more detail. It kind of looks like this sort of like, I don't know, power, uh, charge, whatever things, access ports and stuff, which they are, their access panel. So there you go. We've also got the top mounted camera, which I think would be very, very cool instead of having to sort of like face cameras up on uh, grids. Like I, I think as well, maybe that'll probably benefit more for larger grids where instead of having to build like an entire sort of uh, like little mount for it, I guess you can just have that there. That looks pretty fancy, pretty simple. And we've also got some sort of like safety signs here. I can't really tell what they are I don't know if maybe they're actual blocks or if they're for like LCD sort of like uh, screens there I'm not too sure but it looks like we're, uh, we've got a bit of signage so that's pretty good we've got like medical rooms 
got a uh, what's this accidents I can't really read that that safety first one have we were we have worked zero days without a clang incident okay well what's new there I'm sure we can all relate to that so that's pretty funny we've got a trading station there where it looks like we've got the space engineers coin for like cargo there and looks like offers change over time I don't know if that'll be anything we've got an authorized personnel only sign we've got a warning zero G zone that's very handy and a thruster damage zone and it looks like a crush zone so we've got some pretty visceral uh, warning signs there with the space engineer man being crushed there right onto his ribs so that's pretty cool I'll just look at the rest of this video oh sorry wait I've just scrolled forward a little bit and I can see some more of the signs I think looks like we've got a storage area one and explosive danger and a trespassers one there is another block on the bottom left there but I can't quite see that so I won't worry about that and this DLC is going to be included with the uh, pre-order bonus it's going to be a part of the pre-order bonus for the uh, Space Engineers game on PlayStation 4 and 5 I'm it does say free DLC here so I'm not sure what it means by pre-order bonus I would imagine if it was free DLC it would just be included anyway so I'm not too sure but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed, uh, consider liking the video. Um, if you want to see more, if they release any other stuff about this, I'm going to be probably making a little news thing on it. So be subscribed for that. And yeah, have a nice rest of your day. See ya.